so the new studio hasn't put together yet, but you, you deserve a show. I'm Mr. Selfish, this is The Hustle. Sit back, prepare yourself to watch me entertain myself. Get off your ass, the show is about to start. <laughs> Today we celebrate Hurricane Katrina Day. You know, that day that the Hurricane Katrina killed all those people because we want to celebrate, yay! But here's the thing I don't understand. So with all the racial stuff behind Hurricane Katrina, why is the ribbon used to represent Hurricane Katrina Day black? Right? I mean, put all the racial stuff aside, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's kind of like if there's a big disaster out in San Francisco, you're using a purple ribbon in order to represent that. Think about it, you'll get that tomorrow. So this has got to be one of my favorite stories that came out of the news here in the last couple of days. It's the four-year-old at the Catholic school in Australia that got awarded first place for a dress-up contest. Now, it's not that he won first place. Well, it is that he won first place because he was dressed up like Adolf Hitler, and parents are freaking out. Now, they're not even really pissed off that the kid was dressed up like Adolf Hitler. They're pissed off that he had a swastika, which is a symbol that's been used for over 3,000 years to mean good. The Native Americans used it, the ancient Egyptians used it, the Chinese have used it, but yet what they're pissed off about isn't the Hitler thing, it's the swastika thing. Now, I would think that they'd be more pissed for repression from him dressing up like Hitler. Australia is a country's original settlers were prisoners from Britain. It was kind of like a big Alcatraz with no walls. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is a Venezuelan politician getting a bunch of criticism. In order to raise money for his campaign, people can buy raffle tickets to get breast implants. Now, breast implants are a big thing in Venezuela, so it makes a little bit more sense over there, but forget healthcare, all right? This is actually campaign funding that I can wrap my head around. You'll get that one tomorrow, too. Anyways, that's all I got for today on The Hustle, and remember, when it comes to the news, keep the pimp hand strong. I'm out. I've been trying so hard, can't get you out of my mind. Could you imagine the amount of campaigning money a politician can get for offering breast implants for fundraising in the United States? Just a thought. Kind of sounds like a campaign slogan that Heinz Ketchup King John Kerry would have come up with. It would give us whole bad campaigning and flip-flopping from side to side a whole new definition.